Well, you're looking at video from this week in 1994 when several systems dropped snow from January 16th to the 18th on our area. Snow depth of six inches the morning of January 19th, 1994. Then Arctic air came down from the north, plunging our temperatures. The Indianapolis International Airport recorded its all-time low temperature of 27 below zero. Mm. Plus, on this date, 28 years ago, New Whiteland recorded the all-time state record low temperature, talking 36 degrees below zero. Chief Meteorologist Brian Wilkes, of course, the Weather Authority, joining us now with more on this break. And we know you have all the statistics and all yeah. the... Yeah. information about this prank that's as you cold. always do. And it's all linked to a volcano? Yeah. It actually yeah. was. It's, it's pretty striking. We talked about it earlier on in our broadcast, but it was something worth revisiting because volcano eruptions seem to be top of mind of what happened here over the weekend. But it was back in the early 90s, 1991, there was a violent volcanic eruption in the, uh, in the Philippines, Mount Pinatubo. That particular volcano spewed ash and debris and a cloud uh, that went into the stratosphere, the friction-free and the weather-free layer of the atmosphere, and eventually over the next couple of years would settle a dust cloud at the, at the Arctic regions of the planet. It would drop the global temperatures uh, for the next couple of years by a full one degree Fahrenheit. And it was the first time that we had that kind of Arctic air hit uh, with that kind of magnitude, driving the temperature down to 27 degrees below zero that January 1994. And I had the pleasure of standing outside live broadcasting that cold night in South Bend and use the term polar vortex. That was something that was a no-no. Uh, consultants back in the day in television broadcast said, don't even talk about a polar vortex, let alone warm fronts and cold fronts. Well, when you look at the numbers, they're pretty cold tonight. We're looking at a temperature currently of 21. But that particular morning, we woke up to a low of 27 degrees below zero. And you know, this is the time of the year that we've had some of the coldest temperatures. Several nights that have gone below 20 degrees below zero. But there were those early morning lows, which included a 27 Six below zero. These are actual air temperatures in Columbus and 30 degree below zero temperatures in Crawfordsville, Spencer, and New Whiteland. That was the last time we went to 20 degrees below zero 28 years ago, and we don't wow. see it coming anytime soon. A lot of weather insight and why That's consultants right. were proven wrong over time. <laughs> That's right. Lots, lots of Put a hashtag there, in front Brian. of Thank it. Yeah, it's on exactly. the social media. Right, right. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Brian.